in the first hour where we're just warming up, she kicked my face, almost broke my nose, hit me in the stuff. I'm seriously afraid that she's gonna break one of my bones. My journey to the green belt, that was like a big lightning bolt moment for me because they didn't used to show you what's on the test. Like you would come to the test, it'll be a surprise. And then they didn't let me go the first time I wanted to go for the yellow belt. They had me sit it out for some weird reason. So I got annoyed because then I showed up and I was like, dude, I didn't pass it. I did that. I got the yellow belt. The orange belt took me two tries. Like they failed me on the first one. And I was like, dude, when I go to the green belt, I'm going to be ready. Like I knew everything, everything. And I didn't have a good partner. I had a partner that I didn't, I never partnered with. And she was big and rough and no control over her body at all. So in the first hour where we're just warming up, she kicked my face, almost broke my nose, hit me in the stuff. And I was like, dude, we're in a practicing environment and I'm seriously afraid that she's gonna break one of my bones because she doesn't have any control no over control. her body. And I was like, and I can't attack her or defend why because we're in a test. And I got so frustrated. I went to the bathroom, I cried and I was like, fuck, I don't know what to do. Do I leave? It's a five hour test and this is the first hour and I'm like, do I leave? Because I can't partner with her. Or do I stay? And I was just like, fuck it. So I stayed. I finished the whole five hours, got my ass kicked, and I didn't pass the test. And I got so angry because I was like, I, I knew everything. And if I didn't pass, it's not because of me. It's because of you. You didn't teach me and you didn't do this. And I'm not coming back anymore. And this is stupid. And why am I even there? And fuck this whole thing. And I call my friends. I'm like, push it. Uh, like, I'm just gonna take a week to sit it out and get mad and feel my feelings and this sucks. And after a week, I was like, okay, why am I there? And I was like, it's not for them, it's for me. I'm mm. like, we'll do this again. So the next test, partnered with someone, like we practiced together and all that stuff. And I was like, dude, I'm getting a belt today, either from you or from Amazon. I don't care, I get a belt. So we go, the test was rough really rough. And, but I finished and I got the belt and it was great. And then I went home and I was like, I show up tomorrow the same way I showed up before I got the belt. So I was like, it was such, it was such a thing for me. Like I gotta get the belt. And then I got the belt and I was like, nothing changed in my life, nothing. It's not like I know more than I knew yesterday. It's not that I have, to, I can rest now. It's not that, like, you change. And I was like, okay, so why did I make it this such a big thing? We gotta get to... Why though? Why did you? <laughs> so one of my faults <laughs> is that I make a lot of things into a religion. Like, when I was in Google Plus, what's ironic. that? That's ironic, isn't it? That's ironic. Very ironic. When I was in Google Plus, Google Plus is the way. Just Google Plus, fuck everything. It's Facebook, what are you, an idiot? Who's on Facebook? That's dumb, right? Google Plus. And then Google had a bowel wow. movement. But I do these things where I'm like all in. I'm like, I'm all in. This is traveling, entrepreneurship. Bah. And these live experience like Google Plus and Cov and stuff, they're going like, okay, it's not a religion. You can be invested, but you don't have to be like die hard invested. And it's not a destination, right? The destination is a tombstone at the end of the road. Until then, yeah. that's it. With a belt, without a belt, with a belt, without a belt, it's like the same, the same thing. So I'm like, okay, so it's the path. And if it's the path, you know, let's have fun. Let's explore, let's see what happens.